there's so many ways to get around New York City. There's the underground subway, which has been having a lot of maintenance lately and gets real hot and humid during the summer. And then there's the alternative of the city bikes. Having the option of biking around New York City is great because you don't have to get stuck in a subway and there's a freedom of going wherever you want, when you want. One thing that's apparent about New York City is that it's always under construction. There's always something new being built or something being renovated. A lot of places that I wanted to shoot video for, the locations were under renovation. The Apple Store has some construction going on in front of it. Even the Ghostbusters Firehouse was undergoing renovations. So much for my Ghostbusters tour. But this is just one of the realities of being in a city that is constantly growing and changing. As soon as I got back to New York, I realized that I needed to get some equipment for my home office. Things such as a comfortable chair since I didn't have one at home, and I also needed to get a few lamps to reduce eye strain while working on the computer. The only retail place that sells the budget chairs and lamps that I like was IKEA. And I heard that they opened one closer to me in Brooklyn, so I decided to go check it out. In order to get there, the most cheapest and fun option was taking a boat across the river straight into IKEA. I also brought a suitcase in order to make my life easier to carry everything back. I got the stuff I came for and took the ferry back into Manhattan. After I got my work set up, situated, and settled, it was time to get back out and show you guys what New York City has to offer. A nice bike tour that I enjoy is biking over the Brooklyn Bridge and then crossing over the Manhattan Bridge on the Brooklyn side to get back into Manhattan, right into the heart of Chinatown and then getting an inexpensive Vietnamese sandwich. Coming back to New York City after living in the West Coast for 10 years, the one thing I can truly appreciate is the unique energy of the city. New York City doesn't feel like any other city. It has its own unique feeling. Not much has changed aside from some slight urban landscaping, but my perspective has changed slightly, however, for the better, and New York still feels like New York to me. One great thing about New York City is that there's so much to do and see here. Even if you've seen it before, it doesn't really get old. New York City, in my opinion, is the second home of Puerto Rican food. On the west coast of the U.S., you'd be hard-pressed to find some Puerto Rican food. I grew up with Puerto Rican food, and when I moved to California, I couldn't find any Puerto Rican restaurants that weren't out in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of food options in New York City. It can be hard sometimes to choose what to get, but that's the beauty of being in a place as diverse as New York City. The beauty is that you don't get stuck with only having fast food chains nearby, and you have many options for different styles of cuisine to eat. All you have to do is explore a bit. So that wraps it up for now. If you ever come to New York City, I recommend getting a city bike pass and a metro card, and then go all around the city taking in the sights and sounds and eating all the good food in sight. And that, folks, is my New York City.